hey folks welcome back to another video so uh, in today's video let's directly jump into it and uh, so as you can see on my screen there is a confusion that i wanted to resolve a lot of people has been asking me that uh, would i get a certification if i gave only az400 okay uh, so this is az400 right now and this exam which we are, you are going to take and this exam is as a prerequisite so this is az104 and this is also a prerequisite 10 not sorry 204 so this is 204 exam okay so either of this uh, this one exam you can take or this exam you can take and then this you can take this exam and then they'll you'll get this badge and you will get a certificate to download okay otherwise you can take this exam you can say in the interview that i have certified uh, i'm certified on this but you won't be getting this this batch especially this batch to download and flex on the linkedin or on the resume you can tell that i have taken the exam uh, at the time of interview or an explanation that i've given that exam but i am not this one because i'm not given a uh, azure administrator associate or azure developer associate okay so uh, i think in, in future there might be few things that come from the microsoft side and you can get the certification okay so this is the confusion that i wanted to clear okay after that let's uh, directly uh, dive into day two so uh, what i did on day two is uh, not day two day zero one yesterday was day zero okay uh, so the first thing that you uh, i want you folks to know is that uh, first of all you should know what exactly is a project life cycle okay so project life cycle is something that you need to know so uh, what do we need in that uh, there are multiple steps in that that uh, first for example first would be the planning part right and then uh, after that uh, plan let me draw a diagram of this okay so planning part uh, make it small okay so first would be uh, planning part and then uh, after that we have the requirements uh, in which we gather the requirements uh, this is something that we have and after that we have uh, analysis analysis uh, there is a third step and after that we have our design designing part is that what we do and after that i'll continue it from here so after that design uh, you look for coding so developers are the one who code over there so this is the coding part after that you do the testing here tester comes manual and the automation testers after that you do the deployment and after that you do the monitoring so this is a very basic diagram of uh, how exactly it happens okay so uh, this is one thing that you need to know what exactly is the project life cycle that's the that's the first step uh, on, on day one, I'm discussing the prerequisites kind of a thing uh, to this, uh, which you already need to know. I've, we have not dived into the hardcore part yet. This is the first step. So this is what you need to know. And I think this is this can be done within one or two hours you need to know. All right. Uh, and second thing that we wanted to discuss today is, yeah, the second thing is agile. What exactly is agile methodology? Okay, so this is methodology, but I'm not writing the whole spelling. So uh, agile is something... Uh, that came after the waterfall model this is more of a waterfall model this is a process but waterfall model is something like uh, goes something like this 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 like a waterfall that's that's how it got it its name and uh, the problem was that it was not repeatable i mean once you've done this you cannot go back because a waterfall does not go back so that was the thing then uh, we came to the agile so agile something works like this uh, so if this is a requirement okay so it will go something like this this is a requirement and then what we'll do we'll do some designing part over here okay so this is design okay and after that we'll develop this is develop part and after that we'll test same steps same number of steps and after that we'll deploy and after that we'll monitor same number of steps but in this process and this keeps on going like this from this step to this step so this is something as agile okay so this is something that you need to know what ha exactly happens in agile so this is uh, one part that i prepared today uh the third thing you need to know the process of scrum so scrum is uh, scrum is also a part of agile so what exactly happens in scrum uh see uh, it's a like a bigger process and if you want to take a bigger picture of it this is something like uh, you have a vision, right? And uh, this vision, like for a for a project, and then you create some kind of tasks on. If you use Jira or anything like uh, any any other software task, you create stories out of it. Okay, 
and then after that stories uh, after that stories you do some kind of sprint planning uh, sprint is also a keyword sprint planning it is also a keyword in uh, in agile and then after that sprint planning you uh, you check uh, whether what you want to pick up uh, the stories to be picked to be picked that's what you do stories uh, and uh, you can create uh, epics epics is the like topmost thing after that it comes around uh, store uh, stories and then you create tasks bugs out of it okay so this is something that needs to be picked after uh, we have a period of light around 15 days mostly i have not seen a company in which we have 24 days period 15 days which is uh, close to two weeks not close exactly two weeks and uh, it includes your uh, holidays as well i mean if you are not working on uh, saturday or sunday okay after that you deliver a new functionality okay new functionality is delivered and this is uh, i'm explaining in the short form because uh, the other process uh, could 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 be different and there could be multiple steps in between and then once this is delivered uh, this is again like this so vision again new task new story sprint planning to be picked and inside that if you face any problems you also do a retrospective as well so the retrospective means that uh, there is something that went wrong what went wrong what went well uh, how to do it what what we can do better in the future that's kind of a retrospective meanings okay and in some companies before this uh, we have a few meetings in between which is known as sprint review in that sprint review what happens is people generally talk about okay this is something that i'm facing uh, a problem today how can i resolve it so the product owner the developers or the other people test out okay so this is what i have studied today uh, the scrum method was the uh, another thing and after that uh, in this project you need to know the devops part okay so the devops what exactly is devops uh, so it's development plus operation uh, you can google it uh, you can take a lot of uh, information inside uh, you can go through youtube videos what exactly is devops uh, this is development plus operations part and how how does it work and what exactly uh, you have to do what automation happens this is <clears throat> something that is you need to know and after that uh, the last thing that i did was um, i created uh, an azure free account so azure free devops account free devops account okay so this is uh, the first few steps let me google it uh, azure free azure devops okay uh, not this one this is jfrog this is artifactory learn sign up for azure devops microsoft learn you can go over here so this is for sign up for azure devops azure devops services when you sign up azure devops you get the following tier of free services first five services basic license pipelines azure boards repos artifact how does it look like you can um, take a look at that all you have to do is sign up with the microsoft account if you don't have one create microsoft account you can create now which i uh, which i was talking about uh, go to azure devops and select start free you can click over here and you can start free click over here and uh, i know i don't like to participate and then if you already have something like uh, an email id of outlook.com live.com live.in hotmail.com you can just sign in and it will create an account for you it will ask for a few things and then it will happen and then just create an organization after that creates a project name after uh, whatever project name you can create and this would be your organization name okay and you can sign up with a github account as well it's a free account uh, multiple things available over the internet that you can do okay so create a great github account go to azure devops and select start free github enter your account details and go through the sign up process you have to authorize Microsoft Corp. This and this, it is something, it looks like this. So you can go through these steps, create a project, how you can do that. So this is uh, something that I did and uh, I have already done this part. So this was my uh, progress of uh, day one. And I hope uh, you might be getting an idea of how things should go. And uh, you can buy uh, courses uh, of this, you can go through things first you can understand how i am doing it and then you can you if you have already booked the exam for long back you can just go through all these videos and the things the way i'm doing uh, from tomorrow onwards i'll be concentrating on configure processes and the communication part which is important and uh, com condensed 10 to 15 percent of the exam questions at the end of the video uh, not this video the next video i'm going to produce 
i'll be discussing a few questions that can come at the time of your exam so yeah i think that should be it okay folks so uh, if there is anything feel free to comment below if there is anything that you want me to go in detail i can take a look at that but this is more of a like progress kind of a thing that what i do on a daily basis on this so again uh thank you and subscribe the channel because it really motivates me to create more content like this so i'll see you in the next one